Hello, in this video, I am going to show you button groups. So I highly recommend that you watch the buttons video, which covers the, well, the button component in Bootstrap. So this is just basically going to show you how to, you know, group them together. So I'm not going to be explaining, you know, what buttons are, you know, in terms of the classes, etc. Okay, so if we go in and we create a, a div, and this is going to have a class of btn dash group it's going to have a role i'm going to give it the role of group another area that's name for disability readers uh, and this is going to say basic example again you know you could put something a bit more contextual than that we're going to put a button here and i'm going to have a type uh not b button but uh, i'm going to have some classes now again this is just normal button stuff so it's going to be btn btn primary for like the theme color system and i'm put left of the text and i'll just see why i'm doing that in a second yeah but you can put whatever you want i'm gonna put three different ones in this group you can put them any of you want you can put two three four twenty i guess and i'm gonna put outline that secondary you can keep them all the same theme i'm just showing that you don't have to um, put middle and I'm gonna put danger right refresh so that is our group so you groups them together and as you can see we've got a bit of like a border radius a bit of a curve on the corners for the one on the left and the right but anyone in the, any in the middle don't have that so you know they indicate that that they are together this could actually go pretty well together to be fair what you can also do i'm gonna put a couple of break lines just because i'm gonna have another one of these and we don't want them to be touching no particular reason you know just for aesthetics and you can also put btn dash group dash vertical it doesn't matter what's inside and this just makes it vertical that's that's literally it so the other thing that you can do is actually have a button toolbar I actually clicked Command R before I moved over. So you can have, like I was saying, a toolbar. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And we're going to have a div. It's going to have a class of VTN dash toolbar. It's going to have a road of toolbar area dash label. And I'm going to put toolbar here, toolbar with button groups. And okay, so within here, we can just have, you know, a group as we normally would. And I'm just going to tab this out. And what I'm also going to do is make them all primary. Uh, it just looks a little nicer when they're all the same, but that's not a requirement. I'm going to put this as one, two, and three i'm gonna have a total of three groups inside here you can have as many as you want and in the last one i'm just gonna have two buttons just to show you that they don't all need to have the same number of buttons in each group seven and eight and yeah i'm happy with that so if i refresh that's what we get but i think what's the use of that and i'll explain in a second so as you can see even though they are together they are you know distinguishable because they are a different group so let's just add a bit of a margin so put an mr-1 and you can experiment with the type of margin you want you could put your own custom class that's fine as well and even though this really isn't going to affect anything I'd, I'd like to put it there as well just in case there is another group at the end but you might not so there we go it has moved over so what is the purpose of having a button group like this so these three may you know toggle or be linked to one particular type of feature these three may be linked to another and these two may be linked to another okay let's say they're linked to pages for example and these three doo -doo 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 -doo, let me think of an example doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe it is for some sort of video game selection. And the first three 
are for you know a particular console this is for another console and this is for another console but they're all sort of linked maybe they're the same genre for example you know they could be anything but the thing is i'm sure you've seen this sort of stuff on other websites and this is how you create it and all of the other extra stuff that you can do with button groups is on this page there will be a link to this in the description so feel free to check that out and anything that you can do with the regular button which i've covered in the button video like outline you can do here you can you know put toolbars in there you can size them you can nest other features like drop down which i'll be covering you can do obviously i've done the vertical orientation so feel free to check all that out as usual if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next video